Greetings and welcome to GRC 33 Flash for Web. This is the creating a navigation from scratch video. Uh, this is part one. Go ahead and open up Flash and we're going to create a new Flash file. Action script three. And this is a multi-part process and it's Basically, we create a button, and then we create a symbol that that button is contained in, and then we create another symbol that multiple button symbols are contained in. So first off, we're going to start with creating the button. And we're going to just draw a shape on the stage with our rectangle tool. And this is going to be the basic shape of our button. And I drew it. It's there, but it has a transparent color, so we're going to go ahead and give it a alpha of 100% and we'll give it a color of let's say light blue. Okay, now we're going to convert this shape by right clicking and we're going to convert it to a symbol and the type of symbol that we're going to create is a button symbol. And What's going to happen is this shape is going to be pulled off the stage, a new symbol is going to be created in its place and this shape is going to be placed within that symbol, within that button symbol. So I'm going to call this basic button. Now when I name it, uh, its symbol name in the library is irrelevant. Uh, you can use um, any name in here that you want to. Uh, this is not have any does not have any effect on the action script because we don't call it by its library name ever um, even if we are loading in something at runtime we give it a different name so there's that now this is a button now if I want to edit it I can double click on it and you'll see up in our breadcrumb trail here we were on scene one but now we're editing the basic button and it's telling you this is a button symbol that you're editing and our timeline now has up over down and hit states the up state or that frame, the contents of that frame is what's displayed when the button is in its natural state. That means nothing's interacting with it. The overstate is the frame that is shown when the uh, mouse is over that button. The down state, that's the uh, frame that should, whatever contents are in that frame are what's shown when we click on the button itself. And then the hit state, that defines the hit area. Um, the area it could be outside of these shapes um, that determine where the interactivity happens in relation to where my mouse pointer is on the stage. Um, in lieu of having a, a shape in the hit state, if we just have up over down uh, shapes, the hit state is calculated based on all three of those of those shapes in there. So for the most case, we don't need to use the hit state, especially if we're using a rectangle button like this. Um, so we have an up state, but we do need to define an over and a down state. So I'm going to hit my F6 key. That's going to create a new keyframe and copy the contents from the previous keyframe. And so basically what we've got now is uh, two shapes that are the same. Uh, and we're going to select the down um, frame and hit the F6 key and create a new copy of that. And now because it's a shape, when we create a copy of it, it's its own entity. Um, if we were creating a copy of a symbol, all we would be doing is creating a new instance of that symbol. Now I want to be able to indicate interactivity here. Um, just having the same shape for up, over, and down is not going to show that this button is operational. So just real quick, all I'm going to choose, all I'm going to change is the overstate. Um, so I move my uh, playhead marker to the overstate, and then I select the shape. I can select the frame. And it appears as though the shape is selected, but really it's not. What it's doing is it's selecting all shapes within that frame, and you have properties relevant to that frame, not to the shape that you've selected. So if you want to make changes to the shape, you actually need to choose the shape itself. And there we go. And I'm going to change the, um, the alpha or the transparency on this, uh, this shape. So I'm going to click in here and type in 50. So now it's going to make it kind of transparent. So I'm going to... Uh, control enter and let's test this guy here. Sure enough, there we go. We see some interactivity with the mouse. So our basic button is pretty much done. So I'm going to go back to scene one now and we're good for this part.